As the Indian Air Force prepares to float the RFP for 66 medium transport aircraft, the focus is shifting from mere procurement to long-term resilience. With a service life of over four decades, life cycle costs, fleet availability and domestic sustainment are key priorities. The IAF wants deep indigenous manufacturing, MRO and upgrade capability, ensuring the fleet can be fully supported in India, even during crises with minimal foreign dependence. India's naval aviation is set for a transformation as HALS Indigenous Utility Helicopter Marine moves toward flight trials. Designed from the ground up for maritime operations, the UHM features twin engines, anti-corrosion protection, flotation gear, naval sensors and foldable rotors for compact shipboard storage. Built for logistics, search and rescue, medevac, surveillance and limited combat, it will replace the Navy's aging Chetuk fleet. With 76 helicopters planned under a Rs 5,000 crore program, deliveries could begin by 2027, leading to full induction by 2030. The Marine Utility Helicopter marks a major leap in India's quest for self-reliance in naval aviation. DRDO is advancing toward a 300-kilowatt class high-energy laser weapon, with ranges exceeding 20 kilometers. Built on a hybrid electrically driven gas laser architecture, the system targets drones, cruise missiles and aircraft. Key subsystems, including beam protection optics and long-range tracking, are already validated. As per reports from media sources, most of the core enabling technologies required for the 300kW class HEL have already been validated. Once operational, the laser will offer instant engagement, deep magazines and near-zero cost per shot, marking a major leap in India's future air defense capability. HAL is no longer a low-investment public sector manufacturer. By committing nearly 10% of its revenue, about $340 million annually, to internal R&D, it now stands shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder with global aerospace majors. In proportional terms, HAL matches Dassault, outpaces Saab in Korea's KAI, and even invests more aggressively than Lockheed Martin. This funding fuels Tejas MK1A and MK2, AMCA, LUH, LCH and indigenous engine programs. While HAL still lacks the scale and legacy ecosystems of Western giants, the intent is unmistakable. India's aerospace prime is putting real skin in the game, signaling a serious march toward technological sovereignty. The Indian Air Force is preparing for its largest force expansion in decades as India moves closer to sealing a landmark Rafale deal. Over the next 10 years, the IAF plans to induct at least 430 combat aircraft, reshaping regional air power balance. The backbone will be 114 Rafales, supported by 170 Tejas MK-1A fighters, upgraded Su-30 MKIs, and future inductions of Tejas MK-2 and AMCA. Fifth-generation capability will be added through 60 FGFA fighters. This roadmap aims to reverse squadron depletion and build one of the world's most modern and balanced air forces by 2036. India has achieved a major defense manufacturing breakthrough. Nagpur-based Solar Group has developed the country's first indigenous universal air bomb, ending the need for separate munitions for Western and Russian aircraft. The new 125-kilogram bomb is compatible with both NATO and Russian standards, allowing the same weapon to arm Mirage 2000 and Su-30 MKI fighters. Already cleared on Mirage jets and undergoing trials on the Sukhoi fleet, it promises faster mission planning, simplified logistics and seamless mixed fleet operations. For foreign air forces flying diverse aircraft, it offers a cost-effective solution. Aligned with that Minerva Bharat, this innovation strengthens India's self-reliance and positions its aerial munitions for global export. As the Indian Air Force moves toward acquiring 114 fighters, it is set to induct the most advanced Rafale ever built, the F-4 standard. Far beyond the current F-3R fleet, Rafale F-4 introduces AI-enabled sensor fusion, advanced AESA radar modes, and real-time collaborative combat networking, enhanced cockpit systems, next-generation MICA-NG missiles, 
and heavy hammer precision bombs boost lethality and survivability. Integrated into a digital combat cloud, each Rafale becomes a force multiplier. The F-4 standard positions the Rafale as the IAF's frontline air dominance backbone, delivering decisive capability until the indigenous AMCA enters service. Pakistan's defense community is closely watching India's plan to induct 114 Rafale fighters, calling it a worrying strategic shift. Analyst Bilal Khan argues the real danger lies not in numbers, but in a more unified, networked Indian Air Force. A Rafale-centric fleet could streamline training, logistics and doctrine, converting numerical strength into decisive combat power. Backed by Tejas and modernized Su-30 MKIs, the IAF would gain unmatched depth and flexibility. Khan believes Pakistan cannot compete fighter for fighter and will instead pivot towards stronger air defenses and asymmetric capabilities, signaling a major shift in South Asia's air power balance. India is on the verge of a transformative leap in aerospace self-reliance, as the DRDO Safran Jet Engine Program awaits final CCS approval. Valued at nearly $7 billion, the deal will co-develop a clean sheet 110 to 120 kN turbofan for the AMCA, with full technology transfer and Indian-owned intellectual property. Designed for stealth, supercruise and future scalability, the engine ends decades of propulsion dependence. More than a contract, it is a strategic partnership that gives India complete control over design, upgrades and exports, laying the foundation for a truly sovereign fifth-generation combat aircraft capability. As the Indian Air Force battles shrinking squadron strength, New Delhi is exploring options to restore combat power. HAL is awaiting a detailed Russian assessment on the cost and feasibility of manufacturing the Sukhoi 57 in India. With nearly half the required infrastructure already in place, the stealth fighter is being examined as a possible interim capability until indigenous programs mature. The exercise is not a procurement decision but an option-building move. Balancing squadron shortages, self-reliance and long-term strategy, the center is weighing whether a foreign fifth-generation fighter fits into India's future air power roadmap. That's all for now. Hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.